from do-it-yourself caulking to new handy power tools to help around the house to learning about the mortgage process to even staying connected faster. Designing Spaces is the show that demonstrates the latest and greatest stuff for your home. Join us for a fun half hour of some of the best in entertainment. We are Designing Spaces. The look of molding caulk in your bathroom is far from attractive. No amount of cleaning will ever make your bathroom look fresh and clean. Not to mention, Bell Caulking is responsible for 90% of all bathroom leaks, costing homeowners hundreds of dollars. As a homeowner, I can think of a million different ways I would like to spend my hard-earned dollar, and fixing a bathroom leak isn't one of them. So I'm gonna make sure my bathroom is protected. But I have to be honest with you, I've never caulked a bathroom before. Actually, let's get real. I've never used anything with caulking before. So I brought in an expert to help me with this DIY project, Stephen Melindy with AdTech. Stephen, how hard is it to caulk a bathroom? It's a lot more difficult than it needs to be. The current tools on the market are big, bulky, and you end up making more of a mess than you started with. I'm always making a mess in the house and I normally leave projects like this up to my husband, who's a general contractor and a perfectionist, but I think I'm up for the job. Can you help? I can. Luckily, AdTech designed the ProTouch caulk system. It comes with everything you need for your caulking project. It comes with an applicator, four nozzles, two tubes of caulking material, a caulk removal tool, and even a glove. So what's step one? Step one is to remove the old material. See all that mold and mildew in there? That's gotta go. It's actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. Ugh, this is gross. All right, that's done. Steven, what's next? Now you have to choose your nozzle. We have the standard side cut nozzle that's ideal for bathroom applications in your shower and around toilets, that sort of thing. Then we also have a fine needle nozzle that's ideal for painting and around trim and windows. And notice that these are all pre-cut, unlike the traditional caulking tube, so it allows you to get a nice, consistent bead. It really takes the frustration out of the project. Wow, this is really easy. I can't believe I'm actually getting this in an even straight line. That's the response we wanted for homeowners. Rachel, I have literally applied thousands of feet of caulking material out of every available applicator over the past three years in order to create the ProTouch caulk system. So I noticed the kit did come with two different types of material. Which one do we use again for the different projects? For the shower, we use the 100% silicone material. It is the best bet when you have a lot of water exposure. It lasts up to 30 years, but it is not paintable. For the backsplash, we used our paintable acrylic material that lasts up to 20 years. It is also mold and mildew resistant, and it's also water resistant, and you can paint the wall after. Steven, I'm so proud of my DIY project. Thank you so much for coming on Designing Spaces and showing us how to recalk a bathroom and how easy it is. You're welcome, you did a great job. Well Steven, I think I got it from here. Now if you're thinking if Rachel can do it, so can I, you're probably right. So head over to protouchcocksystem.com for more information and you can always head to our website, designingspaces.tv. Toolboxes come in many shapes and sizes, so which one is right for you? The best idea is to approach your toolbox as a tool itself. It performs a specific purpose as a place to keep your tools and have them organized so you can find them when needed. Heavy duty plastic helps to keep the toolbox lightweight. While metal toolboxes are tough, they will add weight. A basic home toolbox typically has a lift out tray, so heavier tools can be stored in the bottom and the smaller tools are easily found in the tray. These tote bags can range from simple, segregated canvas bags to complete soft-sided tool organizers with inner and outer pockets. Whatever style appeals to you, your toolbox will become one of your best friends when you're taking on home maintenance projects. Another toolbox tips from your friends at Designing Spaces. Did you ever order a new piece of furniture only to have it arrive in pieces? Assembly is common for many products today, and more and more households are finding new tools are needed to assist. Today on Designing Spaces, we've got a marvelous new tool to add to your kitchen utility drawer. It's called the Flip-Out Power Screwdriver. The Flip-Out is a lithium-ion powered screwdriver with virtually unlimited flexibility and reach. 
versatility is key, allowing you to get to hard to reach places for assembly, repairs, and install projects. Versatility is achieved through the three joints, allowing the flip out to position itself into over 380 positions, allowing the user to reach around corners in virtually any position. It's actually more flexible than the human hand. The right tool can actually save you time. For example, with a traditional screwdriver or drill, changing out kitchen cabinet hardware can be a slow and tedious project. Because of its unique design, this amazing screwdriver makes the project go much quicker and smoother. There's more to it than the articulated design. This is where controlling torque becomes a benefit. With its variable speed switch and motor, it allows the user not to over torque the project they're working on, such as stripping out the screws or damaging the particle board or wood that they're screwing into, causing damage to the project. Often those hard to reach places are not in the best lighting. With the built-in LED, those dark places are easily illuminated. With the built-in LED light's flexibility, you can position the light to match the angle of the project you're working on. Power is supplied by replaceable lithium batteries that can hold a charge for 11 months. With the removable and rechargeable 700 milliamp lithium ion battery, it allows the user to be more effective working on their projects. For DIYers, there's good news. It's a universal driver and locks onto any standard quarter inch hex space. If you've got them, you can use them with the flip out. With the speed hex connector, users can use any quarter inch drive standard fitting they already have or that come with it to work on the projects. For example, you can use flat, Phillips, hex, torx, and allen bits in the flip out screwdriver. When you add it up, you've got an all-in-one screwdriver style tool that can come to the rescue for hundreds of projects. You can find the flip out at Lowe's Home Improvement, Amazon.com, or more information at PellIndustrial.com. To see this portion of the show again and learn more, go to designingspaces.tv. Today on Designing Spaces, I'll be meeting up with Kevin Broton, the Chief Marketing Officer, and Owen Lee, CEO of Success Mortgage Partners, to discuss why today's home buyers need to be as informed as they possibly can in picking a mortgage professional to guide them through the entire lending process. This is the first crucial step in guaranteeing the best possible loan option. All right, Kevin, since the 2008 financial market crisis, people think it's more difficult to get a mortgage. Would you say that's true? Brittany, it's actually not more difficult. It's more thorough of a process than before. Um, some of the old ways 10 years ago were not uh, conducive to good mortgage practices and all those are gone. The good news is there are tons of loans that borrowers can obtain now. Is it necessarily more difficult? I don't believe so. Now I'm aware that this is a mortgage banker company, but what's the difference between a mortgage banker and a mortgage broker? We are a mortgage banker. And what that means is difference from a mortgage broker is that we control 100% of the transaction from alpha to omega under our own roof. Everything from pre-qualification to pre-approval to taking the application to processing the loan to underwriting the loan to closing the loan to funding the loan, we all do with our own employees. Whereas in different environment like a mortgage broker, they gather documentation from a borrower on day one and then ship it out for all other decisions to be made by outside parties. And we like having the control from start to finish so that we can ensure a wonderful process for the borrower and we close almost every loan in 30 days or less. So how would somebody looking to start a mortgage actually start the process with a mortgage banker? Well, starting the process is extremely important and we urge all borrowers to start by sitting down with the mortgage banker and really understanding how much they can borrow versus going out to see homes first. Because sometimes when they do that, they fall in love with a home that's more expensive than what they can actually afford. So get to your mortgage banker first and then get with the realtor after that. Um, but it starts with the pre-approval process and a good mortgage banker is gonna sit down with you, they're gonna look at real documentation about your income, your assets, your credit, and they're gonna make a credit determination that we will extend you X amount of dollars in your loan and to do that is exceptionally important. Getting pre-qualified is simply a borrower stating what they make without verifying anything. So I urge you to get pre-approved versus just pre-qualified. Let's talk about the all-important credit score. What's some of the advice that you'd give to new buyers looking to sign up for a mortgage? And I think one of the beauties of today's mortgage markets is even though people may have marred credit or challenged credit by a couple things in the past, depending on what caused those, that absolutely does not make them unqualified for a mortgage at all. What are some things, the do's and don'ts for your credit? 
Well, first one would be pay your bills on time. So if you do have credit extended to you, make sure you make those payments timely. Uh, number two would be not to extend credit all over the place. You don't need to have 20 credit cards just because someone offers them to you. And a couple of the don'ts would be, uh, and these are extremely important, do not open new credit trade lines after you've applied for your mortgage and do not switch jobs while in the mortgage process. That would be the number one thing that kills a mortgage is someone switching a job in midstream once the mortgage process has begun from the date of application through the date of closing. Well, getting a mortgage is a very big life step and it seems that it's very important who you choose to guide you through the process. I highly recommend people find someone that they know, like, and trust that's willing to sit down with them face to face. You're making the biggest financial decision you've probably ever made in your entire life and to do that with someone that you don't know over a phone that may be 8 or 10, 12 states away, to me doesn't make a ton of sense. Well, I'd like for you to elaborate a little bit more on some of the loan programs that you do offer. I'd love to, Brittany, but that's probably better handled by Owen, who's our CEO at Success Mortgage Partners, so why don't we get up and go introduce you to Owen. All right. Oh, and thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me, Brittany. Now, Kevin mentioned you guys have a wide variety of loan programs. Can you elaborate for us? Our most popular program is probably the conventional mortgage, which typically the borrower would put 20% down. But in today's market, a conventional mortgage can actually go all the way down to 3% down payment with a private mortgage insurance product. Our second largest product is the FHA government loan program through the Department of Housing and Urban Development. And in that loan program, the borrowers can put as little as 3.5% down. Two other very popular loan programs that we also have is the Veterans Administration loan through the Department of Veterans Affairs, where veterans who have honorably served our country can get a loan and put as little as 0% down in that loan program. And then finally, we have the Rural Development Loan Program through the Department of Agriculture where borrowers can again put as little as 0% down. A lot of borrowers find that to be a good fit both in location and to fit their borrowing needs. Now couldn't a home buyer just go online and apply for a mortgage? We find the vast majority of people do much better, especially first time home buyers, with that process where they can sit down with somebody, have a real conversation, have a real relationship, have somebody learn about them and their individual goals and what they're trying to accomplish in the home buying process. It seems like you really place a high priority on your relationship with your clients. We act as an advocate for them from the time of the pre-qualification and the application all the way through to a successful close. And the reason why we do that is the very foundation of our business is personal referrals. Referrals from past clients, referrals from real estate agents, and when you have that trusting relationship, it leads to a great conclusion, and that's great for the borrower, and that's great for our business. So how can our viewers find you? I think the best way to begin that process is to go to our website at successmortgagepartners.com, click on the Lifetime Television link and fill in your contact information. And from there, one of our experienced mortgage professionals will get into contact with you in 24 hours and begin to guide you through the home buying process. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Brittany, for having me. And to learn more, visit successmortgagepartners.com. And to see this portion of the show, visit designingspaces.tv. You're a family of four, and your household demand for connectivity seems to be increasing. High-speed internet, home security, and a selection of entertainment options that fit your family's needs raises a big question. How do you get everything you want, not sacrifice quality, and all at an affordable price? Your internet service is measured in megabits per second, or meg. You'll see it written as Mbps. This is the speed of your internet connection. Higher speeds will allow more devices to run on the same connection at the same time. Exactly how much speed is needed. For most multi-user families, 20 to 40 megs is enough for you and your family to all be online at the same time. But sometimes the demand can be even higher. For higher bandwidth users, ultimate speeds of 100 meg up to 1,000 and meg. That's one gig. Can enable you to do virtually anything you would want to do online. Choosing the right internet speed for your household is what a connected home is all about. With CenturyLink, you can create your own bundle. You do have options. If you're a higher bandwidth user, meaning you have more users 
and more devices, then you'll want to choose a higher internet speed. That way everyone will stay happy working online. Your Wi-Fi modem is a vital part of creating a connected home and optimizing your high-speed internet service. As is the case with all internet modems, where you decide to place the modem within your home can have a big impact on its performance. With electronic equipment, pick a place that has good air circulation. If electronic components get excessively hot, they typically don't work as well and may break down. Ideally, place your Wi-Fi modem in a high central location that allows for better range of coverage. Also, you can get the best speed and performance from your modem by placing it at least three feet away from cordless phones, computer monitors, windows, and 10 feet away from Bluetooth devices, microwaves, mirrors, and even water like fish tanks and water coolers. Finally, avoid placing your modem close to reinforced concrete, metal partitions, ceilings, sprinklers, and pipes. Once you have your Wi-Fi modem set up, multiple users can access your home internet from just about anywhere in your home and even from the backyard. CenturyLink has some suggestions to maximize security for your Wi-Fi modem. Number one, change the name of your home network. In other words, don't use your own last name when you name your network. Number two, choose a strong and unique password. Three, be sure to disable your network when you go on vacation. And finally, place your modem as close as possible to the middle of your home. That way you can minimize signal access from outside your property. In addition to securing your Wi-Fi modem, consider security for your high-speed internet with CenturyLink at ease. CenturyLink at ease can give you confidence that your data is protected. A natural extension of your internet security is your home security. CenturyLink Smart Home is a home automation solution as well as security system that puts you in complete control no matter where you are. You can monitor live video, adjust thermostats, and control door locks and lights remotely. CenturyLink Smart Home is really more than a security system. It's a state-of-the-art home management system designed to monitor and protect the things that matter most, your family and your home. CenturyLink Smart Home can also save you money. Keep your energy bills in check by adjusting your system to heat and cool according to your family's schedule. If you're going on vacation, simply make changes on the fly. Text and email alerts from Smart Home will let you know how much energy you're consuming so that you can make changes. Now that we've created a smart and secure home, let's consider entertainment. With Prism TV, you get the latest in entertainment technology delivered over CenturyLink's fiber optic backbone network. This is truly interactive TV with features that put you in control. You decide what you want to watch, where and when you want to watch it, and even which device you watch it on. Put your TV wherever you want with the Prism TV wireless set-top box. All you need is a power outlet, no need to drill holes or run cable wires. Additional features like the whole home DVR, Prism on the go, and Prism on demand provide even greater flexibility, yet they are so user friendly. With the whole home DVR, for example, you can watch and record multiple shows from any room all at the same time. Start a show in the kitchen, Pause it and pick it up later in the family room. It's just that simple. You can even access your DVR library from any room. Embracing the connected life is a matter of understanding your options and making the choices that work best for your family and your needs, all at a great value. If you want to check out these services, go to CenturyLink.com. For more information on anything you've seen on today's show, or to learn how to be part of the show, go to our website, designingspaces.tv. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces. Making a space you can call home. Living the lifestyle you desire. It's what we're all about. We are Designing Spaces. Designing Spaces.